Hi everyone, it's Jenny here from Texo. Today I'll guide you through creating a workflow in Texo. In Texo, a sequence of automations is referred to as a workflow. Let's dive into setting one up. First, we will navigate to workflow and we will start by naming our workflow. I will give it a simple name. Next, you have a field where you can add some notes to your workflow. This is especially useful for providing specific details about the workflow when there are multiple users to your workspace. Next, I will start by creating my workflow. In this workflow, I have chose to select a LinkedIn related workflow. So what I would do is I would try to um, select some profiles to export some profiles. Then I would scrape the information from these profiles. Then I would check if I'm connected to any of those profiles. And if I am connected to them, I would send them a message. If I am not connected to them, I could then um, send them an invitation to connect then wait for a little while for them to accept the invitation, uh, check again if they have already connected with me, and then I can send them a message again. And of course, in the end, if I want to do that, I could perhaps like even add uh, HubSpot um, automation so that I can add those profiles into my HubSpot account. So this way I'm automating like a very standard LinkedIn connecting and uh, reaching out process, which can be simplified a lot with Texo. So let's get started. First, I will start with the export a profile automation. I navigate to my LinkedIn automations and I like to use the search, uh, search button for the automations that I know the names of. Then I will set up this um, node or this automation here. I double click on it to set it up. I want to search for people whose name is Ben, for example, and I want 10 results for the purpose of this demonstration. Next, I will scrape these profiles. So I select the script profile automation. I double click on it again to set it up. Pardon, that is not the correct automation. Here in the script profiles automation, I can select the input that is the output of my previous node or automation. In this case, this is the profile URL and it's going to pop up as an option for me to select. So I select that and I proceed with the next step. In the next step, what I want to do is check the connection status for that particular profile. So I will check is connected. I double click to set it up. What this automation is going to do is it is going to check if I'm already connected to this person or these people that the results are coming for. So again, I select the input as my output from the previous node, which is the profile URL. And then what I want to do is set up a router. So the router is pretty much an if then function. So depending on the connection status, what I could do is I could choose to um, select different step after I have checked if they are connected or not. So I could select the router under operation. Once I've, I have added it, I have two options here. So for example, if yes, so if I am connected, I would choose to send an auto message to my connection. Uh, 
okay i will choose what this i will set up the nodes to choose what my message is going to be so double click to set it up again we select the profile url and we select the message which could be for example hey join my event and we can add details about that if no so if the person is not connected with me i could choose another outcome or another step for example auto connect so what that automation is going to do is send the uh, this profile uh, it will send them a connection request so again we select the profile url here and we can put a message as well let's connect for example so this way i have set up uh, two outcomes in my workflow so one is if i'm connected to that linkedin profile or if i am not so after i have sent them a connection to request to connect i could choose another step for example i could actually choose a delay so the delay comes under the operations. What happens is when you send someone a connection to request, they would probably not connect with you right away. So I would like to set up the delay to wait for maybe a couple of days or let's say a week. So I would set up seven days under delay value. And then under delay unit, I can set up the amount of time. So it could be seconds, minutes, hours, or days. So I will set up seven days. So with that step, I will ask the workflow to wait for seven days before it proceeds with the next step. In the next step, what I would like to choose is the filter feature. So the filter basically adds a condition to your workflow. So if the condition is met, your workflow will continue with the next step. And then if the condition is not met, the workflow execution will be finalized at this step. I double click on my filter to set it up and I can choose add condition. So here you have really a lot of options for the sake of my workflow and this demonstration. I would choose um, profile URL. I would choose, uh, pardon, I would choose connected to check if they are connected. And then I can set up the rule. So depending on the drop down that you choose here from your LinkedIn variables, you can select a different rule for each filter. So here I can select connected is true or false. So if it is true, then my workflow will continue with the next step. Now as the next step, what should I do? Perhaps I would like to send a message again, okay, after I have connected with them. I choose auto message, I set this up again. So I would select my profile URL here and I would select a certain message, for example, hey, join my event. And then after I have messaged this person, perhaps I want to add them to my HubSpot profile as a contact. So here I could select uh, HubSpot under integrations. I navigate to HubSpot and I can choose create contact. Okay. In this step, um, I can set up the exact way that I want this contact to be created in my account. So in my case, I actually don't have a HubSpot account connected right now, but if I do, I can select my account. I can select the contact company, email, first name, last name, etc., And all of these can be picked up from my LinkedIn um, variables as well. And if I wish I could also choose to um, perhaps add a webhook after an outgoing webhook after scraping the profiles. 
So this is just a sample workflow. This is the way a sample workflow would look like. Um, if you would like to add or remove any steps, you could do that with the little plus button over here. You can add it in any direction, as you can see. Or if you want to remove it, you just um, select that step or that note and you hit backspace or the delete button. I'll try with this one. Next, if uh, you want to run your workflow when after you have set it up, you have three different options here. So I'd like to explain that a little bit. So if you choose to run the workflow, that will start your workflow. If you choose set up workflow schedule here, you can, uh, for example, set up your workflow to run, um, you know, every day, every month at a certain time, uh, at a certain day of the week, etc. So you have really a lot of scheduling options here. And then the last button that you will see here is to view the uh, the workflow history. So if you have already run this workflow once or more than once, you can see under this button like all of the executions that this workflow has already completed. I would like to mention something about the workflow process and limits. So in workflows involving multiple automations, which is the case here, each step completes according to its daily limit before the next one begins. This means that each step can span multiple days and the workflow will proceed to the next step only once the current one is completed. For example, only after all of my profiles are exported, then the automation, then the workflow will continue with scraping the profiles. So that is the basics of creating a workflow in Texo. I hope that you find this information useful and I can't wait to see what kind of automations and complex sequences you can create. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.